If you've ever tried connecting two computers with an Ethernet cable, you know that nothing happens. Well, what you really need is a crossover cable. And today, we're going to build a crossover box so you can use two regular Ethernet cables to plug into it and out to your two computers. And that way, you don't have to buy a special cable and have it laying around somewhere possibly get it confused with your regular cables. So basically, you have both ends of the Ethernet cable wired the same. And essentially what it is, is if you've ever used cups and strings, it's like both people have the blue cup to their ear and both have the red cup to their mouth and nobody's hearing anything because they're speaking into the same cup so nothing's going to the ear so if you switch it one person is going to hear what the other's saying and vice versa so that's essentially what you need to do with an ethernet cable is you have your sets of wires that you need to switch around. So we're going to do that with a box that regular Ethernet cables can plug into. Alright, so in order to make a crossover box, you're going to need a two port surface mount box and two Cat5 jacks and this is what they look like you'll need some scrap piece of ethernet cable you're going to start by removing the wires from the coating so then you have all your wires here we're going to focus on our orange and green sets on one of these, we're going to use the A setup, and on the other one, we're going to use the B setup, and that'll give us our crossed wires. Alright, that takes care of the orange set. As you can see, we've got our orange and white here, and our solid orange on this one. And then we're going to follow the A setup for a green set. And you just want to put your two wires in there. Just kind of push them down. Take your punch down tool. Push those down. Alright, that's our A setup. Now we need to work on our other one with the B setup. Alright, so I'm about to hook up my second one in the B setup. So I'm gonna first attach the green pair. then the orange pair. So on the B setup the green pair goes right there. On the, green, on the B setup our green pair goes right there. Take your punch down tool that comes with them. Push it right in and then orange pair now what you would do if you're done and not going to hook up the other sets which you don't need to is go ahead and put these caps on well these little 
these little plates are pretty simple. They have a front and a rear, so you just snap it right on. So you can really just go ahead and use it like this if you wish. Uh, trim down your wires if you want. And then we'll go ahead and fit it in our, our surface mounted box with the two openings. Well, you can't really see it, but each one of these rings has the word up with an arrow pointing in this direction. And then these also have the word up on this tab. You've got the bottom, which is just a notch, and then you have the top. And the nice thing is these pop right out. You just lay the bottom in there and you swing it up, snap it in. Do the same thing for this one. Then we just bend them around. I may have made my wires just a little too short, but it'll be all right. All right, with your two ethernet plugs put in the enclosure, you just want to go ahead and close it up and it just snaps right together. Now with your ethernet crossover transfer box complete, you can plug in one ethernet cable and another one and then plug in the ends to the two computers you wish to transfer files between and they should speak to each other just fine well thanks for watching I appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video or any of my others go ahead and click subscribe and give them a thumbs up if if you want I appreciate it and so does he. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>